subscribe to my channel if you're new to this channel my name is Lindy M and if you are coming back from thank you for stopping back bye I really really appreciate it um guys I just want to thank you guys for 36 subscribers I really really appreciate it it seems like we are almost appreciating someone so guys today I'll be telling a story about how this other gent dribbled me He dribbled me guys, he dribbled me, he dribbled me, he made me believe that he was, he was an angel sent from heaven. I was so sure that he was sent from heaven by God, but it seems like I was fooling myself. I was so sure that he was an angel that was sent from above to me. But guys, yeah, when I let dude get up and go to Ulezi as a dealer, get brain damage. Yabo, Kuna lava fan and lava dealer, like me brain damage. Kuna lava fan and lava, Aba Aba dealer me. My heart break, Kuna lava dealer me brain damage. I want to let one. I'm so sure. I want to know. Utila nga u lose. Utila nga brain damage. Utila nga heart break, guys. Ni shaba fana la mbak shi u. Ushali lu nyame ni for 10 hours. That's the dude. That's. Isn't this going to play a game? Oh, my God. Uti uta teba. Ani u koliba. Ani u busy lose lip. I'm talking about those dudes, guys. That dude dribbled me. And then guys like he, we really really need to be compensated from for for Khuzuga in my relationship in guys that I just guys that dude Khuzuga me I remember I used to sit in the dark for about for hours I couldn't understand why he did that to me and the fact that I was so sure like guys you know when your friends all of your friends like crave your relationship all of your friends crave it they crave it they pray for your relationship but I'm not some team I'm out of weight like I'm out of weight yeah well but let's get to it let's get to it so guys, I met this gent at Wimpy um, in Newcastle Mall. So I met him. He, he was smelling nice. He looked good. I was charmed. Nan chami gile and that's so and so and so cool and it's the and that did the chame and that chame and that chame and that chame. Nuse lo ampa nuse nuse nuse. That chame again and that chame even though guys i remember i had told myself i would never date in new crystal ever again but i did because when i know that i'm not guys and the we are born and lazy yes he was a little chubby and he was caramel in color and i'm like oh guys i was so and then he asked for my tents, guys, and then I gave him my tents, and then he started talking, he started calling me his voice. <laughs> you know, those voice, voices that are to die for, that are to die for, and I was just like, that when I look for one, I'm not going to die. And then, guys, I'm going to be able to show you, I'm going to be because I already had made up my mind about him. Oh, was the guys we know I am not a pananimali. Pananimali, and I was just like, I wanna that. I'm here to stay, guys. I remember after like we started dating for for two weeks. I, I, guys, I'm not just in a man here. Stop buying paper tea. No more busy camping. Now go bang us. But I ended up, guys, in himself and go long. I'm a heart attack, five. That's how, guys, I love that dude. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to guys. I'm going to tell you, guys, I'm going to visit you, guys. I'm going to tell you, guys, I'm going to visit you, guys. I'm going to tell you, guys, I'm going to visit you, guys. And, guys, so we decided to go see my name visited before I go back to school. 
No. I went back to school and back I I had to come back and this deal. Like in the salon. I was down for it. I was like, like I was down for it because I remember when I was still here in Newcastle we never had like spent time together. We would calm G and just see me for a few minutes and then but Dandy so guys we decided because i should come back for a weekend and, and, and i was so excited guys i don't want to lie i was so excited i remember I, I went to do my hair my nails i also went like for waxing yes i did went for waxing um he <coughs> I went for work saying so guys and then yeah the weekend came and I came again guy Newcastle. I came here to Newcastle and my figure will be doing to get in this bloom. I was so excited. First time getting blooms and flowers guys, blooms, flowers like first time. I was so over the moon. I was like, yeah, when I when I saw the flowers, I was like I was like, I was like that, and I was like, okay. And then all the flowers, guys, and then gee, it was nice. The whole spirit was nice because I remember when we got to his house, we chilled. Um, his head with my thighs, we were chilling, we just talking about life and general and literally everything. And then his phone started ringing non stop. And then when I asked him who was calling him, he said he, it was Rag, and then he does not want to answer that call because if he does, they will tell him to come back to Rag. And I was like, okay. And then, and then he was like, he does not want. To go to work, he just wants to spend quality time with me. And I was down for that, and I was like, okay, cool, I missed it. But now, there was a there was a car at the gate. I remember, I just stood up, my was a faster and would say, Oh, who's that? And then when I looked, there was this chubby lady, I think she was pregnant. This was pregnant, excuse me. And then I tell him, and then he was like, was a was a was a was a he was he just became so jumpy and then he was like was a was a was and i was like why and then he said come 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 and then guy yes i we went to the bathroom let's be a bathroom and i was with the toilet and i like you know understand what what's he doing and then we opened like this this thing at the ceiling that opens i know you guys know it but i don't know the name of it but that thing guys he opened it from Fagapagat and then he closed it and then my enjoy to hear it's like he was like can you see flashlights with so faggy for me I'm silent because when I'm not gonna go into a live name is a blue I was like what the flowers guys I mean the flowers the flowers the 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 drinks that he had bought me the food that he had bought me literally everything was far receiving than and um, he said that i should snack while i was there the disrespect guys the nerve the nerve guys i was so devastated i remember i started crying i started crying i was crying and then he was like now you get the new season i my kumala uzo from off no faggy and I was like, and then guys, he another to me, and then he said something like that. He said he was sick, he was he was sleeping, so he did not hear his phone, and 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 I was like, guys, they sit there like for four hours. They were talking. And I was there. I remember, and then I sent him a text telling him that i'm suffocating i can't breathe anymore and then he was like okay uh and then he said that he's going to take um i'm just gonna call her sam sam's car and then take back take her back to her mom's house and then um so that i mean guys i was pinned in sometimes together guys i 
yo the disrespect i was so disrespected guys the way i was so disrespected god dang guys I, I i like i wasn't even able to say anything because when he came back he came back he was smiling and all of me i was just like the whole time the whole time guys i was so annoyed i was so and the one thing about me you see once i'm annoyed i won't say a wait i would just be like I won't say a word. I won't utter a. I won't say anything. I would just be like, I was just like that the whole time. And then he backed me. I remember he backed me. He backed me. He backed me. He backed me. I, until I finally gave in. And then uh, when we, we went to sleep, he didn't even ask for sex. I was so glad that he didn't because if he did, he because we look up because we draw our pants. And then in the morning breakfast in bed i was so excited now i was just like i told myself that let me just live in the moment it happened i can't change it so i just said let me just live in the moment and then guys i left i lived in the moment i lived in the moment i was just like okay it's fine it happened there's nothing i could do to change it really and i can't go home because they were going to kill me so guys the following day it was saturday it is saturday and then he said that we, we're gonna eat out and i was like okay cool so it's, uh, prepare yourself and i get that in gamble and i'm here gamble and then do she and i do it she and i think i told me no more gamble and i don't know and then we went to excuse me um we went to spur we went to spur and it was just had a meal and then his friend called me and they said they were having a cry or whatever and then he was like okay and then he was supposed to go to the bride obviously and i was like okay and then we i changed when we got to the house i had to get shower we go to the shower and then we changed um into casual clothes into no casual clothes and then and then we went to the bride we went to the bride guys Moshimane oh did to me the deed. He did me the deed. So guys, we went to the bar when we got to the bar and the vibes we the energy was was on another level guys. Like she his friends were so amazing. His friends girlfriend they were so girlfriends they were so super super amazing and this nice guys we were vibing everything was just nice posh shush. So Guys, his free, his phone started ringing once again, and then I knew that he, I wanna watch his phone start ringing. Okay, it boom it, and then the girl calls Shuti. She said something about she knows how she knows that his friend is a bar, it is a bride, and she's coming, she's coming. So guys, um, he called his friends and told his friends what was happening, and this friend of his who did not have a girlfriend suggested that I should pretend to be his girlfriend. Can you imagine guys? I was so devastated about the whole situation. So they called me and they told me that Usam is coming. So I was supposed to pretend to be his free his friend's girlfriend. Guys in that faint t-shirt because I was like, what? And I faint I fainted guys. I remember I fainted. That's how it was. Until I was Papa guys, I remember I said on the tree and there was a bomb there in front of me. The Bombay guys, that's how I was devastated. And I called my sister, I told my sister the whole story because I couldn't do that. So I told my sister the whole story, and then she said, Oh, come and fetch me with his boyfriend, with her boyfriend. So they came and then they fetched me, guys. And then I went in the morning, I went back to the guy's house in the morning and asked for my clothes and then bring my clothes and start apologizing. That was the last time he saw me. That was the last time I saw him. I don't even know where he is. But he, the dude, my alarm, my soulmate, dribbled me, guys. He ripped my heart, my mind, my everything. He ripped it. He ripped it. But yeah, guys, um, um, so yeah, that's how it is. I just hope you guys do not degrade yourself and know your work, stand your ground. Not like me, stand your ground, guys. Stick, stand your ground. I'm a figure, man, and a figure, but stand your ground. 
follow because we need more guys so yeah guys thank you for watching i hope you did enjoy this video thank you thank you so much for watching bye i'll see you on my next video